Now let's put this all together and solve a problem. Let's say that, for example, y is equal to 3 times sine of 2x minus 1. So as I mentioned earlier, and as I've been doing in every other problem, we want to take this step by step. And when you do this, you avoid making the mistakes that you would make when you try rushing. So let's draw our graph for y is equal to sine of x. Look like that, no. It should look like this. This is 180 degrees, 360, 270, and 90. This right here is 1. This right here is minus 1. We can start by multiplying it by 3. So what this does is it either stretches or flips, and since it's positive, since it is positive, it does not flip it. So we'll go up to 3 will be over here. Let's extend this. This is 3. Minus 3 will go down to here. So this minus 3. So our graph will go up to here and down to here. So this will look like this. Like that. And then all the way down. And stopping over here. Now let's account for our minus 1. So minus 1, or when we subtract 1, we essentially just move our graph down a little bit, or we move it down one point. So this right here is 2, minus 2, and then minus 4. So this point moves here. Our axis, or a 0 point, moves over here. Um, this will move down here. This will move down here. And this point will move all the way down to minus 4. And this right here is y is equal to 3 times sine of x minus 1. Now we want to account for the 2x. So what 2x does is it changes the period. Our original period is 360 degrees. So our new period is equal to 360 over 2, which is equal to 180 degrees. So our graph will repeat itself over 180 degrees. So over 180 degrees, our whole entire graph will repeat itself once. So that should look like this. And then repeating itself. And we can erase the other line just for clarity. And this is our final graph of y is equal to 3 times sine of 2x minus 1. Now just to bring everything back together and to emphasize what we've learned, y, when we write y is equal to a times sine, or I'll just rewrite it, y is equal to a times sine b of x plus c. What c does is it translate our, translates our graph so it moves it up and down. What a does is it amplifies or flips our graph if it's negative. And what b does is it changes the period.